Well, today's box of rocks was not actually in a box. It was upstairs on my coffee table a few minutes ago. And my wife asked me to put something different up there. So there are now Mexican crazy lace agates in the living room. And down here we've got these rocks that are going to go in a box as soon as we take a look at them. Let's start with this one. Pretty sure that's bloodstone. To me, bloodstone and fancy jasper from India really look alike. Uh, but with the green on, or the red on green, I'm going to call that one bloodstone. Love the colors in that one. That's a cool rock. I like that color too. Kind of neat little stripe in there. This is green tree agate. I don't know what that one is, or this one. Another colorful one. Here's a couple of, I believe, Montana agates. Lots of color in this batch. Here's a piece of Mexican crazy lace. That one, I think might be bubblegum agate from South Dakota, but I don't know for sure, but that's what I always thought that one was. Not sure what this is, kind of looks like obsidian. Shows dust like obsidian. But it might not be. I'm not sure. I believe this is a picture jasper. I've got several picture jaspers in here. Not necessarily all the same kind. See, I said there's several. Now I can't find them. There we go. There's one. Here's one. Here. And here. Seems like there's one with really good blue in it, but I don't see it right now. It's a little guy, but really cool. There's a piece of tiger eye. That was one of those picture jaspers. And I've got a lot of uh, quartz in here. There's a little amethyst there. So just a clear quartz. Here's a rose quartz. You see the pinkish color? The other one's amethyst is more purple. Uh, that little guy. And then here's some more. And there was one that was really clear in here. I can't find it right now. It was like quartz, but uh, just completely clear. Oh, where did it go? You know, maybe we'll run across it later. All right. I always find these blue things in my batches, and I call them sodalite. And somebody always tells me, no, that's lapis, or lapis lazuli. And uh, this time, since you guys have been teaching me to look for stuff, I looked to see if it had any pyrite inclusions, and I didn't see any. So I think this is sodalite, not lapis. But maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, please tell me, and one of these days maybe I'll figure it out. Okay, that is uh, pretty sure a local quartz that I picked up. 
I'm not sure why it's in with this batch though. Usually the local stuff I keep with Michigan batches and this is not Michigan rock most of it, but this looks a lot like a green quartz. I found two of these rocks. Uh, one was in a farm field rock pile and the other one was in the woods. Uh, both of them are fairly large rocks. One of them I sliced up and made a lot of turtle bottoms. Uh, if you've seen my little turtles that I make, um, I made some of the bottoms out of this stuff. This looks a lot like a venturing. In fact, I, I thought it was until I read up on Aventurine, and Aventurine has some glimmering quality to it. I think it's called like Aventurescence or something. It's got Aventurine in the name. Um, but anyhow, this doesn't seem to have any of that quality in it, so I think it's just green quartz. Oh, here's that clear one. So compare this to, okay, so here's a piece of quartz with fractures all over in it, which is what quartz usually looks like. And then there's this that has no fractures whatsoever. So I don't know if that's some sort of really pure uncracked quartz or if it's a piece of glass or what it is. Probably got this in a, a batch of rocks I bought from somebody online, like an individual that, you know, you get their saw scraps and stuff. Like that's probably what this is, is a saw scrap. It's a little slab. So I don't know where that one came from. Pretty over there. Well, if nothing else, we've got variety here, huh? Here's a Turatella agate, which isn't actually an agate. It's a sedimentary rock with a bunch of little seashells in it. Cool stuff. I like the colors on this one too. Okay, wild guess here. But this sort of looks, especially over in here, it looks like Flint Ridge Flint from Ohio. Maybe. Look at this right in here. That's really neat. Did we look at this one? I don't think so. If we did, we're going to look at it again. I really like that. Okay, what else? What about that one? Kind of plain but shiny. Is that petrified wood? We don't have petrified wood in Michigan, at least not much of it that I know of. So I'm not very good at identifying it.
is kind of neat. It's got a little depression in there. the rest of them. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this week, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.